Hello! I've been making some Nurgle bases recently and I figured I should show you how to make them. When I'm making my bases, I have a goal in mind. I want to make them look cool, but I want them to look gross too. For this process, I use modeling putty and the round end of a paintbrush. There's probably a real tool out there for this exact purpose, but on a budget, you've got to improvise. Now, this technique is simple, but it's pretty effective. If your putty gets too sticky, you just add some water to your tool. Making these kinds of bases is how I got comfortable with working with modeling putty. When I was about 13, I made these bases, and 10 years later, not a whole lot has changed, but I have picked up some more tricks along the way. My favorite is making gross worms and tentacles. All you gotta do is run a comb over a snake of putty. It helps if the putty is slightly firmer and the process can be a little bit fiddly and can take a little bit of practice, but even if it's not perfect, sometimes that can be a good thing. I also like to push the model's feet into the putty and wriggle it around a little bit. It helps me position the model exactly how I want it, but it also makes the base look extra squelchy and soft and gross. To make little fungus spores, I roll up a little bowl and dot it with the end of a paintbrush, and I just put them wherever there's a big surface where not much is going on. And that's really all the modeling I'm going to do for these bases. In the past, I've done teeth and eyeballs and squiggly bits and all sorts of stuff. But for these models, I'm just going simple because I wanna get them done a bit faster. I paint my bases in the same scheme as I paint my models. Painting can be intimidating, and I've never really learned to paint by the book. But my biggest takeaway from painting my noble stuff is this. Start with a white undercoat. Use a clear glaze medium to give your colors some translucency. Use a yellow glaze at the end to make the green look super vibrant. Green and purple look dope. I think half the secret to eye-catching models when you're not very experienced with painting is a good color scheme. I love how purple and green look together. It makes them look gross, but also fun. When I paint my models, I go for lots of saturation and cartoony colors because I think it makes them look cool and makes them stand out. And that's really it. I gotta get back to painting the rest of my army now, but I'll keep you updated.